All right, I was working on my notes for the Revelation 19 expository study, and I just, you know, I'm getting kind of bogged down a little bit, uh, a lot of other things in my mind, and um, so I just took a break, and uh, coming on to my channel here, and this, I'm seeing so many comments on this video, and people just attacking me, just tearing me to pieces in this thing, and I've even had to delete comments because there's profanity. You know, people claiming to be Christian attacking me and putting profanity in there, be, you know, in my comments here because I debunked this Revelation 12 nonsense. And um, you can see here there's been 705 comments. And these, these, are, these are the ones that, you know, are left after I've deleted quite a few of them. Some are just being stupid. I'm just, oh, whatever. You know, I don't have much patience anymore for some of this stuff. But um, here's a one an hour ago it says I am with you on this reminds me of New Agers talking about the fifth house in Leo etc I live in near Glastonbury UK I hear this uh, garbage just sitting in a cafe minding your own business and now Christians are on with this astrology yeah your pride is heavy on your lips and that goes into the thing there um, it's not a scam Brian it's Bible prophecy I don't think so <laughs> gotta disagree here the entire biblical story was written in the stars long before it was written on stone uh, so then the stars are more important than scripture, written scripture. You know, I don't think so. Uh, wait, what? You lost me. Here's the deal. Does the Bible say about the stars? Blah, blah, blah. Another one. Your cocky and condescending kind of attitude kills any message you're attempting to put forth. I mean, these are the top ones going down through, the top rated ones. Um, just, you know, crazy stuff here. Um, keep preaching it. Too many people looking to get their deaf ears tic uh, tickled. Yeah. That's the truth there. That's a true one. Christopher Hernan here. Amen. People are so ridiculous. Just stick with the Bible, people. Stop believing sensationalist fables. Talk about that later. Yeah. Amen. I agree with that. My brother, thank you for this video. I watched Robert Breaker's video regarding September 23rd, 2017. Never said this would be the date and hour of the rapture, and he never claimed to be a prophet of God. No perf pastor is perfect and infallible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing is uh, Robert Breaker does things for money. He's a, a whore for uh, YouTube, monetizes his account. Um, it's all about money. Up into the millions of views on his ridiculous video. That's a false rapture date video. And uh, it's it's not a, I'm not setting a day, a date, but I am, but I'm not. You know, I'm going to show you about that a little bit later. He's a false prophet. Robert Breaker, you're a false prophet. You're a joke to anybody that really is saved and understands the Bible. We'll get back to that in a little bit bit here but here's the interesting thing where did the Revelation 12 sign teaching come from because I mean you know if you're a Bible believing Christian you read it you look at this thing and you go okay constellation all this other stuff I'm gonna do a separate video on this debunking this whole Revelation 12 thing it's it's just stupid okay it's ridiculous oh I know you're offended you know some of the people out there oh, you shouldn't you have said oh, whatever so I can't help you. It's stupid. Look at this. Revelation chapter 12 sign here. This is Wikipedia. And, you know, again, Wikipedia is not, the, you know, the ultimate definitive thing and whatever else. But use it as a basis to do real research, okay? Look at some of the stuff and then go and confirm what they're saying. That's, that's why I use Wikipedia occasionally. Revelation 12 signs the apostolic belief, heralding that the time of Jacob's trouble, also known as the tribulation period, may begin on September 23rd, 2017. Um, goes down through here, and they quote the NIV. That's about appropriate. But look at this. Overview. On April 7th, 2011, William Tapley's channel, Third Eagle Books, published the first video about the alignment entitled Solarium. Okay. Then this guy comes along, Scott Clark, which a lot of people, you know, oh, brother, Scott Clark said this, blah, blah, blah. Um, William Tapley is a Catholic. Scott Clark got it from him. Interesting. We'll talk more about this, but you can read this article. I'm not going to even go down through the whole thing here. But just to show you, I thought this was interesting. Um, media attention and critics. Revelation 12 sign has received... Widespread media attention, including the Washington Post, mainstream media reporting on it, Boston Globe, LifeSite News, Shabbat, Prophetic.com, and the Catholic Astronomer. Hmm. Catholics reporting on it. thought that was really interesting. But here's this guy, this William Tapley nut. 
I did a video talking about this guy. I don't remember what the name of the video was, but um, he's crazy. Okay, weird. Here you have, uh, he says, the horror of Babylon is decadent capitalism. This is going back to the beginning of his oldest videos, nine years ago. The horror of Babylon is decadent capitalism. No, it's Roman Catholicism. And uh, you get down through here, you know, here's another one. Where is it? Uh, Mary's Rosary and Bible Prophecy. Right there. Sure. And, you know, just all kinds of Catholic stuff down through here. Um, you know, Mary's Rosary is for some Protestants. You know, you get down through. There's, I'm not going to go through all this stuff. But uh, he's a papist. There he's got the crucifix there, you know. And everything the Holy Mary thing there and things like this but uh, here's a video he did April 23rd 2017 and this guy is a thing for wearing these pectoral crosses okay the basically it's a uh, what a bishop will wear Roman Catholic Bishop and um, here I have the uh, see if I can get this thing here okay you see it this is the Catholic Picture Dictionary, page 97. Pectoral cross, the large gold cross which the bishop wears on a chain around his neck. The name of this cross, which rests on the chest over the heart of the bishop, derives from the Latin word pectoralis of the heart. Okay, so the pectoral cross, which is exactly what he's got on right here, is a sign of a Catholic bishop. Now, is he a Catholic bishop? I have no idea. I don't know. Could be just bought the, the cross or whatever else and things, but he just loves to wear this thing around his neck. Find that kind of weird, you know. But uh, just listen to a little bit here of what he says. Yeah, and the guy's just a total wingnut. Listen to what he says at the beginning. Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. I am doing this video as a response to Scott Clark who is claiming that he discovered the Revelation 12 sign. And just recently, several of his cronies have posted videos supporting him on this claim, and all three of them are false. They are false prophets of the end times, and Jesus warned. He said in the end times there would be many false prophets coming in his name, in other words, claiming to be Christian. Now, I just want to remind you what this Revelation 12 sign is. This will occur this fall on September 23rd. Okay. We're not going to continue watching it. It's just more stupid nonsense from this papist here. He's a Catholic. Catholic, you know, people, come on, wake up. All right, and there it is. And he's showing the whole thing here. And he, he talks about down here that here's the first, you know, thing about it. And, uh, you know, so here's the video of the Stellarium published on April 7th, 2011. Okay. And here he starts out, he's making a maple syrup at the beginning. He shows, you know, he's making, tapping the tree and, you know, cooking down the sap that comes out into the maple syrup, the whole deal. This is Columbia University. I don't know if he went there or what. I have no idea. But let's watch a little bit of this thing here. I am making the incredible announcement on this program that a computer program called Stellarium predicts exactly when the Bible prophecy of a woman clothed with the sun will be fulfilled. Moreover, this prediction coincides exactly with my own previous prophecies that Jesus will return at Armageddon in the fall of 2017. I discovered this program called Stellarium somewhat by accident last week when I watched three videos which claimed that this great sign of the woman clothed with the sun will be fulfilled this fall when the comet Elenin passes by Earth. Of course, I realized right away that this was impossible because this great sign... Yeah, whatever. You see the point, though. He's saying this in 2011, a Roman Catholic. You know? How can any Bible believer fall for this stupid nonsense? Mm -hmm. And he's the guy that came up with it, and he's saying it's going to be the second coming. <laughs> See, Catholics, they don't believe that, you know, they believe that there's a final time of purification, but then they believe that Jesus Christ comes down. They don't believe that the body of Christ goes up 
and gets caught up. So for Robert Breaker here to come out and right over here it is. He's using the Revelation 12 sign, the Virgo and all this other stuff. I mean, astrological signs and things like this. And you just look at Revelation chapter 12, it doesn't say constellation. He sees a woman in heaven. I mean, just look at that. Look, we'll look at this real quickly here. Let me just show you because it's just so absurd. Um, I have to get out of this because I was doing my study on Revelation 19. But let's just go to Revelation chapter 12 real quickly here. All right. Okay, and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. It doesn't say a woman that's a, a constellation. He sees a woman. And she being with child cried, trailing in, in birth. How can a constellation, you know, cry? It's a group of stars and she cries. <laughs> okay, and she, uh, and, uh, oh, excuse me there, and she travails um okay constellations can travail pained to be delivered she feels pain oh yeah okay and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Um, where's the constellation of a dragon at her feet? And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up unto God into his throne and the woman fled into the wilderness. A constellation flees into the wilderness. Okay. This is a tie-in right here. Revelation 12, 12, 6 is a tie-in to over in Matthew chapter 24 about when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. You know, run. She flees into the wilderness. The woman is Israel. Not a stupid constellation. But, but this liar right here Robert Breaker, the liar, the deceiver, comes out and he says, well, you know, no man knoweth the day or the hour, but I, we can. We can. I do believe we can. He's calling Jesus a liar. I mean, brethren, it's gotten so bad. The apostasy is so bad that you literally have people saying, the Bible does say, no man knoweth the day or the hour, but you can know the day or the hour. Well, then Jesus lied. And what, he'll, what this lying faker does is, he goes through and he'll say, uh, you know, and you're going to see what he does here. I'm getting ahead of myself. Just watch this. Stupid deceiver. Look what it says here. And let us consider one another, to one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but also exhorting another, and so much the more, now watch this, as you see the day approaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you see the day approaching, that's the day of the rapture. <laughs> well, first of all, stupid. It's Hebrews. It's the book of Hebrews. It's not even written to Christians. It's written to Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. You claim to be dispensational, yet I don't even, didn't even realize that. You know, I guess we'll try to use it as instruction in righteousness for Christians or something. Just, you're an idiot, okay? The day approaching is the day of the Lord. Because if it was the day when Jesus Christ would be coming back, or the day of the rapture, then Jesus would be a liar. Because Jesus said, no man knoweth the day or the hour. You can understand, hey, I can see the day of the Lord approaching, that thousand year millennial kingdom. I can see that approaching, but you're not going to know the day or the hour. Why? Because Jesus said so. I mean, what a basic, very, very difficult thing here that, oh, I don't, I just... Let's, let's think about it. No, we don't need to think about it at all. Jesus said, no man knoweth the day or the hour. Was he a liar? Well, according to Breaker, yes, apparently he is. Let's watch a little bit more of the liar here and the deceiver. Make sure to watch his videos too there, all you Bible-believing Christians out there. Make sure to watch his videos because he's getting filthy, stinking rich off of you. I try to warn you, oh, you're rather Brian, I just don't like your attitude. 
You people. Apostle Paul says, look, we ought to love each other even more as we see the day approaching. Oh yeah, but we can never see the day approaching because no man can know the day or hour, right? Yeah, right. That's what Jesus said, stupid. Yeah. You know, maybe it's possible that we can know the day or hour. Maybe it's possible that we can know the day or the hour. Then Jesus lied. Why don't you just say it, breaker? You believe Jesus is a liar. No man knoweth the day or the hour. But maybe we can. You people that support him. I'll tell you what. And if we look at the feasts, we look at the stars, we look at the what God's doing with the, the moons, and there's some for times and seasons and everything. We look at the, the Jubilees. Maybe we can know when the Lord is coming. I will not set a date and say it will be on this day, on this hour. I just wanted to show you what other people are saying in the hopes that maybe you might look into it yourself. But I will say this, Jesus is coming soon. Are you ready? Are you saved? To me that's the most important thing, is your salvation. Oh, yeah, it's the most important thing is your salvation. Now the most important thing to you, Breaker, is making money off of gullible people. That's the most important thing to you. You disgusting little false prophet, you. You make me sick. Let's continue. The last thing that I want is for you to be left behind. Yeah. Are you saved? So I hope that answers the question. Many say that no man knoweth the day or hour. Why? Well, I do not concur. <laughs> I mean, people, wake up for crying out loud. Many say no man knoweth the day or the hour. I do not concur. He doesn't agree with Jesus Christ. Shame on you if you're still deceived by this liar. How dare he? He calls Jesus a liar. Jesus' words, no man knoweth the day or the hour. And he says, I do not concur. I don't agree. Who was it that said, I will ascend above the, the, the stars and, and, you know, all the things in Isaiah 14. Satan. His ministers appear as the ministers of righteousness. But you're still not convinced, are you? Oh, yeah, because he's just such a wonderful preacher. I love that. I love Brother Breaker. He's such a good preacher. <laughs> you people are so stupid. I mean, you're, you're idiots. You know, if you're still falling for this guy, he just said he does not concur with the words of Jesus Christ. But you see, here's what it's all about right here. You know, look at that. 7,887,286 views. Good money. Good money off of gullible Christians. You know? I just... Oh, I, I don't even know what to say. I really don't. I mean, the blasphemous statement that the guy just made, it comes from a Roman Catholic, for crying out loud. Right here. The Revelation 12 sign from a stinking Roman Catholic. Calls himself the third eagle of the apocalypse. That's where Breaker gets the thing from. Go ahead. Keep watching him. Stay subscribed to that loser, to that liar. Uh, people, I'll tell you what, because I, you know, I, I thought to myself, it's just like, you know, I'm working on my study and I'm just like going, okay, Lord, I don't even know what's going on with this whole thing of people just, you know, so rabidly defending this thing. And I'm thinking, what's this all about? And it was just like, Lord, put it in my mind, you know, why don't you look into who started this whole Revelation 12 thing? I had no idea. So I'm like, okay, sure. You know, take a break from my studies and I'm just looking it up and I'm like, oh, oh this you know, William Tapley or whatever nut. This guy's crazy. I've talked about him in the past. He's, he's you know, he's a cuckoo bird. He's the one that, sh that came up with this stupid nonsense. But I guess God showed it to him, right? And then, uh, you know, then this Scott Clark guy, and, and he, got, he took it, and then Robert Breaker got it from them and stuff. And this is the Lord leading all of them, apparently. And then, you know, does this Jesuitical little thing, a little Jesuitical sophistry, 
I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's going to be you know September 23rd. I just you know am getting filthy rich off of gullible people, you know, watching my video to the 7.8 million views. Okay, well, you know, if uh, if you're going to fall for this kind of stupid liar like breaker here, then uh, please don't watch my videos. Get off my channel. You know, I'm just I'm just going to be real straight with you. Uh, you people, um, I it's always been a policy of mine. I'll let people voice their opinions. I mean, uh, this liar here, you know, I mean, comments are disabled. He disables all of his comments, you know, in different videos and things like that. So fine, whatever. I don't disable my comments, you know, I've only done it on a few videos, but for the most part, I let people just come on, do whatever, but I've, I've only ever blocked people or, you know, deleted comments when they, when you post a, a, a link to some heretical article or something, boom, you're off, or your comments gone. If you use profanity, your comment is gone and you get blocked from my channel, okay? But honestly, it's getting to the point where I just don't even have time for you people that are just so wicked and so stupid that you could think that you can make Jesus into a liar. And by having a date, I mean, I'm not saying it's a certain day. Then what are you doing making all kinds of money off of the September, September 23rd thing? Puts a date up and it says, I'm not setting a date. And gullible Christians, gullible Christians come along and defending this liar. God have mercy on you people for following this lying devil here. And I'm supposed to, by the way, you know, as a, as a preacher, I'm supposed to be exposing false prophets like this. You know, I'd love to be able to just have a point in time where I can just preach the word. I can just do Bible studies and things like this and don't have to worry about wolves entering into the flock and trying to mess people up. I know a lot of my viewers, a lot of my subscribers have gone over to this liar, you know, because you get sick and tired of the heat that comes from watching my channel and get sick and tired of the people attacking and all this other stuff. You don't want the battle, so you go off to little, you know, princess here and stuff and watch his videos and things and make him lots of money through his monetized channel. You know, you want to go do that and things like this. He's already brought up, you know, taking a lot of people away. I'm aware of that, you know. But that's okay. You just keep watching a false lying prophet like this that just got done saying, I just showed you the proof that he said he does not concur with the words of Jesus Christ. So if I see your little comments down there and you're trying to start arguments with people that are faithful to this ministry, to King James Video Ministries, that are Bible believing Christians. You don't have to agree with me 100%. I understand that. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we we ha we have good conversations back and forth. I love you in the Lord. You know, you mean a lot to me. I've learned a lot from brothers and sisters in Christ out there. Um, you're fine. You can post your comments back and forth and things. But uh, you're if you're a follower breaker and you start posting your stupid nonsense from this lying heretic. I'm going to just delete you. I'm going to block you from my channel. I don't have time for you. I exist online for Bible-believing Christians, not lying devils like this that infiltrate our midst. If it doesn't upset you, if, you, if your blood doesn't boil when you see some stinking liar like this coming out and saying, I don't concur with the words of Jesus Christ, then I, I feel real sorry for you. Okay, You're out of fellowship with the Lord if you don't get angry about stuff like this. So that's going to be it. Uh, thank you very much for watching.